Speaker Terzai has undoubtedly been the biggest champion of alcohol reform in Pennsylvania during our time here in the Commonwealth. We first began working with the Speaker on this issue nine years ago. He was among the first legislators to believe that wine could be sold in the Commonwealth responsibly by private retailers. Speaker Terzai has tirelessly left, led the effort to improve the way alcohol is sold in Pennsylvania, and it is his commitment to this issue that has pushed it over the finish line. Without Speaker Terzai's dedication to improving con consumer convenience, we would not be here celebrating today. Speaker Terzai, thank you. Blaine, thank you for that kind introduction. Nicole, thank you for your, your uh, wonderful remarks and your stewardship um, uh, with your family and, and uh, other of the executive team leadership for this great uh, store here uh, in Cumberland County and, uh, and, and actually all 17 stores in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And Governor, thank you uh, for being here uh, and for signing Act uh, 39 and uh, really for working together uh, to continue to move forward to make the uh, private sale of wine across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania move so expeditiously and uh, efficiently, which is what the, the citizens of Pennsylvania have been wanting really for some time. And, and Governor, thank you so much. I, I, I might say, folks, uh, how about this uh, Wegman store here? In um, <clears throat> what, uh, here it is, September 1st, uh, the effective date of, of the legislation was August 8th, and within that short period of time, in this space, they have 80 varieties of, of wine to sell to consumers in Pennsylvania, including many Pennsylvania uh, wines. And in addition, with, by, by Thanksgiving, it is my understanding that all 17 Wegman stores will be selling wine responsibly to the citizens of Pennsylvania, all 17 of their stores. They're going to have at this particular location, as Nicole said and Blaine said, 800 varieties of wine to offer to consumers along with the beer that they presently offer. So folks coming to shop here at a great store like Wegmans, picking up uh, dinner or uh, as, as Nicole said, uh, food to go, will we'll be able to pick up that bottle of wine or to be able to pick up a, a, a Pennsylvania craft beer as they presently do, all in, 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 in one, uh, one stop to the, to the grocery store. That, that's really amazing. Here's the key thing. Pennsylvania is finally moving into the 21st century. And, and the governor, who has, uh, and many of my colleagues, um, are, are focused on making sure that Pennsylvania continues to move forward as, uh, as we roll out more our licenses for stores throughout, throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. I have to make, if you'll, you'll give me this opportunity, I have to make um, a comment about, about my colleagues here. Um, just outstanding legislators, by the way, just outstanding. Steve Bloom. Sue Helm, Cheryl Delosier, Greg Rothman, Mike Regan, and my good friend Paul Costa. Uh, Paul's out from my, we're, we're both Allegheny County uh, citizens out from the Pittsburgh area. But in the first instance, you wouldn't have this really very significant step if these individuals were not willing to support and articulate and vote on a number of occasions for full privatization. In the end, not everybody was there, but we passed it in the House on four separate occasions. But you have to compromise. And this compromise is a significant step. And working with Governor Wolf in moving Pennsylvania forward has been a highlight for many of us in our legislative careers. We are so honored to be with the Wegman employees and the Wegman customers today. Nicole and Blaine, led by your fine team, I had the opportunity to go and shake their hands. You do such remarkable work, remarkable work. This young man from Carlisle, his daughter, Katie, is actually an employee at this store, 
And, uh, and uh, I want to give a big cheer for all the Wegman employees that are here today. Thank you. And here's the thing. What we know and what the governor knows, and I, I, I reference all of my colleagues, we know you're going to be doing responsible sales. Heck, look at me. I got carded just the other day uh, in, in, an, in, a, in another grocery store when I went to purchase a bottle of wine. I'm sure I'll be carded again today. The governor might not be because... No, they're going to card me too. Okay. But we, we know how responsible employers like Wegmans and their employees take the responsible sales of alcoholic beverages. So thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here today. And, and Governor, thank you. And my colleagues, thank you.